Hello Capricorn, this is the Mystic Kitten. My name is Michelle and I'm going to do your April 2020 reading tonight. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to videos so that these messages can reach those who need to hear them. If you're looking for a private reading, you can find me on my Facebook page, The Mystic Kitten, and I can connect with you there and we can discuss what that would look like. My price list is also there. What else? This is a general read. Cannot, will not resonate with everybody. That's perfectly fine. You can always check the other signs in your chart for your story or for clarification. In fact, I suggest it. It uh, might connect a few of the dots for you. Cross watchers, please remember to switch the energies around. And this is a Capricorn reading, so it is directed at them. So I think that that's it. So why don't we see what April 2020 has in store for you guys. All right, let's get three shuffles. And three. All right, let's see. Capricorn, April 2020, please. Ouch. All right, the underlying energy for tonight's read is the Four of Cups in reverse. So you may be in a situation where you're feeling lackluster or like you can't make that next step. It's a feeling of being stuck or like at a pause point is what I'm hearing. Like you you're kind of waiting on other people to make their next move before you're able to decide what your next move is going to look like. The overall energy for the reading is the six of pentacles in reverse. That tells me that there has been a lot of um, kind of the chatter has stopped. So what I mean by that is there's not the gossip. There's not the he said, she said anymore. You've removed yourself from a situation where you had to deal with like office politics or family, like the telephone. So you tell somebody one thing and then they tell one person and it gets misconstrued and then so on and so forth until, you know, cousin Susie's calling you and saying, oh my God, you really did blah, blah, blah. And you're like, what are you talking about, right? And it was just very toxic. There's some sort of like toxic communication that you've cut it out, you, that you've cut out with this. Your current or past energy for April is the chariot, the six of cups, and the two of swords. So the chariot is very fast moving. So, and with the six of cups here, I'm getting the feeling that you, you had made some decisions and like laid some groundwork so that you could move forward in a situation and start to become more emotionally fulfilled or less imbalanced. The Two of Swords, though, tells me that along that way, more deception was revealing itself or is still revealing itself. I feel like there's just this feeling of like you just start to move forward and then something pops up and you're like, really? All right, let's take this on. 
and then you get that sorted and dealt with and you get back in the chariot you start going again and then you hit a road bump or a hiccup and you're like oh okay I'll do it again and you get back out and you do you fix that or you smooth that over and it's that's kind of the energy that I'm getting is it's that stop go stop go in the current energy for April you've got the five of wands in reverse you've got the three of pentacles upright and you've got the four of wands in the reverse so this tells me that you feel stuck you're not able to be in a situation you're not you don't feel like you're reaching your potential there's like you can't express yourself you can't do something that's going whatever this is whether it be relationship or job related it's like it's all business no play you have to play by the rules but nobody's willing to listen to your ideas it's like you want to show them a better way or a quicker way or a more financially um, Like you want to put in fixes. You want to look at shortcuts, not misappropriated shortcuts that are going to cause like quality assurance issues. But like, you know that you can expedite something a certain way, but nobody's willing to talk to you about that. And this four of pentacles being in reverse, it's making you second guess whether you want to be in that situation anymore. Because you're like, look, I can fix this problem. I've got I've got the solution and everybody's like did you hear something uh, in your immediate future you've got the two of wands which is a decision you've got the high priestess oh you are walking the fuck away Capricorn and the nine of swords that's exactly what that is so the two of wands talks about making a decision coming to um, coming to some sort of realization and with the High Priestess, you it makes you really take a hard look at yourself and ask yourself if you want to remain in that situation. You, uh, The High Priestess is very motherly and very genuine and very kind. And she she knows her shit. And when she makes a decision, when she, when she puts her foot down, man, that shit is down. And the Nine of Swords is walking away. It's leaving the heartache, leaving the bullshit behind, and looking towards the future. Let's get some clarification. Whoops. And three shots. One more. Can we clarify the chariot? Okay, that's too many. That's too many. The Six of Cups and the Two of Swords in Capricorn's Past energy, April 2020, please. Do you have anything else? <clears throat> All right, so clarifying your past energy, the chariot, the six of cups, and the two of swords. You have the King of Pentacles, the Tower in Reverse, the Moon, the Four of Pentacles in, re in Reverse, the High Priestess again, and the Five of or the Ten of Cups. Five of Cups, that's what I thought. Five of Cups. All right. King of Pentacles, all about the 3D world. He's very focused, very hyper-focused on being stable, being able to provide, making sure that ends meet, making sure that the people around him are happy and healthy and content. 
the tower in reverse speaks about rebuilding foundations and looking at things from new perspectives so that those new foundations that you're coming up on to build will be built more solidly. The moon speaks to manifestation and looking for answers in unusual places. It talks about um, asking for guidance from the universe. It talks about serendipity. The Four of Pentacles in reverse talks about letting go, releasing, um, allowing yourself to accept things as they are and release that. The High Priestess, again, very motherly, very um, nurturing, but she knows her shit, and when she puts her foot down, it's down. And the Five of Cups tells me whatever this is that you're trying to decide or the roadblocks you're trying to get over, it's depressing the shit out of you. You're tired of it being one step forward, two steps back. You're sick of that bullshit. You've been doing that bullshit for long enough, and you know that you're ready to start looking towards your future and manifesting with this moon. You know, looking for the signs, following your true path, so you can build that future that is prosperous and beautiful. So you're releasing all these things that are causing you roadblocks. You're like, no, I don't need it anymore. I don't need it. I don't want it. But you're sad about it. Some of the things that you're having to let go is causing you some pretty serious emotional pain. You don't want to let it go, but you feel like you have no other option. Last shuffle. Can I get clarification for the Four of Wands in reverse, the Three of Pentacles, and... The five of ones in reverse. These for Capricorn, April 2020, current energy. Please. Oh, for some of you, this is a marriage that's causing this problem or a job where you have signed contracts. I'm getting mortgages are a problem for some people. All right, clarifying your present energy, you have the Hierophant, you have the Strength card in reverse, you could be dealing with a Leo, you've got the Knight of Swords in reverse, and you've got Temperance in the reverse. You have completely lost your patience with this. You're over it. You know that you've made commitments, you've made vows, or you've made promises to this person, but you just, with the Strength being in reverse, you don't have you just don't have the desire to put that that effort into this anymore. And with the swords, the knight of swords being in reverse, there has been too many lies, too many deceptions, and you're over it. You're done being patient. You're done waiting for that person to evolve or level up. You're done waiting for those roadblocks to be out of your way. You're over it. You're walking away from anything and everyone, by the looks of it, that have that causes you to feel in pain, to, you know, who lies to you, who deceives you, who doesn't give you full truths. You've recognized that you're ready to go into this new state of, like, being spiritual and allowing, you know, the universe to take care of you and manifestation and going into meditative states and this other person just has no desire to keep up with you and you're like, you know what, that's fine or these people, or this job, or whatever it is, it's sucking your will to live. <laughs> and you're ready. You're done. You're really done. Really done, Capricorn. I get the sense that emotionally you guys are just so tired. And your passion has been so drained out of you that you just don't even have, you don't even have it in you to fight anymore. It's like, you know what? I don't have to be right. I just want you to go away. In your immediate future, the Two of Wands, the High Priestess, and the ten, and the Nine of Swords. Clarification for the immediate future for Capricorn, April 2020. Yeah. So you've got the Death in Reverse. You've got the... 
six of swords in reverse and you've got the two of cups in reverse. You still really want this relationship. You see this relationship as like a soul connection or they see this as a soul connection and you both really want it. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, you could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. We've seen Leo, Gemini. Um, but with this five or this six of five, six, six of swords being here in the reverse, you know that as long as you stay, it's never going to change. They're never going to move forward. They're never going to, it's, it's never going to be different. And with this two of cups being in the reverse, it tells me you're willing to let it go. Holding on to this isn't something you feel that serves you. You just don't. You just don't feel like it serves you anymore. All right, let's get your guidance from the, or your wisdom from the universe. One more I'm hearing. All right. Can we get some cards from the universe for Capricorn, April 2020? Get some wisdom cards for Capricorn for April 2020. Anything else for Capricorn for April 2020? All right. Let's see what you got. The first card you got is the Fire Prince. Optimism. And aggression. So remember that it is okay to be aggressively optimistic and aggressively chase what you want. It is not okay to aggressively push everybody out of your life and then feel sorry for yourself when nobody comes around. Because this Five of Cups over here is all about self hate and anger and depression, poor me. And the second card you guys got was the web weaver. Synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect. And we talked about that, right? You're trying with this temperance, with this strength, with this hierophant, with this death in reverse, you're desperately trying to implore your intuition. You're desperately trying to <laughs> prevent this massive tower moment from happening. You're trying to take control of your life and lead yourself down this path that you believe you've been called to. But this, that whatever this is, family, a lover, a spouse, work, there is something standing in your way and every time you feel like you start to just get a little bit ahead, it's like they jump back in front of you and they're like, nope. Spice Girls, stop right there. Thank you very much. <laughs> right? So that's what I have, Capricorn. I hope that this finds the people who need to hear it most. Again, if you wanted to dig into this deeper, you can find me at my Facebook page, Mystic Kitten, and we can discuss it there. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Have yourself the very best April. We will connect really soon, Capricorn. You have a great night. Blessed be.